So folks, I just stopped as a now on the boardwalk just to bring my rod down. And this is how cold it is this morning. So it's pretty chilly out here, I must say, this morning. <laughs> Very neat picture. Slightly different footage I've got this morning. There we go, I just said Maverick's coming out of there. There being a black boat, I didn't even see it come. Now it's disappeared in the mist there. Just, just see it. Luckily the surf is not big this morning. <laughs> Obviously saw as I heard those engines complaining. They must have seen something that we didn't see. Tricky, tricky, tricky. It comes back again. <laughs> yeah, probably, well, it's missed all over. I was going to say, probably better to go a little bit north. I don't see him. Oh, I saw something jump over <laughs> a wave there. No, it looks like he's safely out. First light just arrived. And one that's waiting for the mist to lift and um, your safety first I'm sure the youngsters yeah they'll uh, they'll head out ASAP love the color of the, the sky at the back. Don't often get this picture because 90% uh, of the time the guys are launching us directly into the sea. Now watch out that sand bank there. Eh? Go right over it. Yep, there you go. Got stuck. Some of those motors, which <laughs> Lowy. There we go. <laughs> Still on the thing. That's better. Oh, look at the colour of the sky as well. Sun coming through. Disappearing into the mist there. Another fiery sky. Like a 
got a nice gap. You just see the black speck in the middle of the screen. It looks like he's made it out safely. When he turns there, yo, oh, yeah, massive one. Yo, 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 yo. I think he's safely out. Little fellow on the way. For Pele in Zulu is a chili, and our Ross was quite a fiery character as a youngster, apparently. And so, the Zulu folk on the farm gave them the nickname Pele Pele. With a mist, it's a difficult launch because you can't see what's coming in front. You think it the right way, just take his time, be patient. That gap will come. Oh, the mullet jumping there, I don't know if you saw them. I'm not sure it's easy for another skipper to be on the boat with a, somebody else because you always know what you're going to do but you don't know what the other guy's going to do but uh, one thing i've learned is that uh, when you're on the boat with a skipper you don't say anything you just allow him to do what he needs to do because you can confuse the guy there they go looks like they're safely through see the mist coming through steam coming off the off the sand One of the challenges here is now is the fact that the sun has got up quite high and so now you're looking to a glare. Whereas the guys that left a little bit earlier haven't got the glare that's coming off the, the mist. But uh, how is this patient? So he's shaking a little bit. Yo, it's cold this morning, folks. Especially with the dampness. the sun just disappeared now and it comes up the other side there I don't think I'm gonna get any more footage of that <laughs> that's it for that one 
And he came back again. Now you see, I would see if I couldn't go out heading south. But, uh, I'll just come to the safety of the bay. Uh, Sandbank now. I got a feeling you might even beach the boat and just wait a little longer. I gotta watch that sandbank there. Oh, my fingers are ice cold. like a leaf here. Uh, I reckon I'd beach and uh, just wait for this mist to lift. Such a pretty sight, this the steam coming off the, the sand here. You can see the mist rising. Got uh, Maverick coming out of there just now. Uh, absolutely the right thing to do. Now that the mist is clear, the surf is big at the back there. Obviously with the mist it's difficult to see the gap. Now it's clear. Much better, but uh, Gerard's very patient. One thing advantage is that it's not a, a washing machine this morning. Eh? Sets are coming through beautifully, a surfer's dream. There you go. That's it, look at that. Have fun guys, be safe, eh?